Welcome to Crafty Hints, I'm Chantel. Today I'll be bringing you three new DIYs with items from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'll make this intro a little bit short because the video is a little bit longer and I want to be mindful of your time. So one crafty hint I do want to suggest is these. These are from Walmart. They're 96 cents, so just a little less than the Dollar Tree. And I'm sure, you know, we're all stopping at Walmart to grab some groceries or whatever anyway. So you might want to grab these. I think that they're really pretty. Um, they've got kind of like olives on there. So those are pretty. One other thing I want to suggest is as we're all out, you know, taking walks and things like that, watch those pine trees. I've collected a bunch of different size pine cones that can be used in fall or um, winter crafts. So those are just a couple crafty hints. I do hope that you enjoy this week's DIYs. Let's get to them. Okay, I started off with this gold tray from the Dollar Tree and just gave it a quick spray of black spray paint. And then I added a little bit of hazelnut Waverly chalk paint and just covered the tray. We're looking to give this just a little bit of a wood or old tray feel. It's kind of what I'm going for here. So I will use hazelnut and then I also add um, a little bit of truffle and a little bit of mineral. I wanted to show you the different items that we could use to cover the bottom of the tray. I have these jumbo popsicle sticks that I got from Walmart. Then I have the bigger popsicle sticks that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm showing you a colored one because I couldn't find my regular popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree. And also stir sticks. Those are fun for crafts and I will be using the stir sticks in another craft today. You can get like a thousand of them. I got them at Amazon, but I've heard you can also get them at Staples. So what I did was I measured this from the back of the tray, and I'm sorry this camera shot isn't great. Um, I had zoomed in earlier and didn't take it back off, so I do apologize. You can just take some scissors after you measure it and just snip it. You can get two out of one of the jumbo sticks and just keep clipping those down so that they fit nicely in the bottom of the tray. The edges don't have to be perfect because we will be covering those.
And now you'll just want to use some of the home decor wax. Um, it's made by Folk Art. It's over by their chalk paint. I don't have any of the Waverly Antique Wax or I would also use that. Either one would work just fine. You can also then rub a little bit of this on the tray so that they match nicely. And now I'll just use a little bit of hot glue to lay these in here. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the bottom and then a little bit on the sides so that they will connect to each other as well as the bottom of the tray. And we're just going to line these up and I'll put that little piece that I needed clipped that didn't quite fit in the tray around the middle just to disguise it. And now you could use whatever rope you would like or have on hand to just cover our seam on the sides. I chose this nautical rope that I got at the Dollar Tree. It works nicely. I'm just going to glue that around the out, outer edge here.
Hobby Lobby and I got them when they are half off fall decor. So they're less than a dollar a pumpkin and they're nice high quality. But use whatever fits your decor. I'm using some neutral tones. I used some lamb's ear and a little bit of the boxwood from Walmart. Um, again, make this tray exactly as you'd like, but these are some ideas. All right, let's watch. Didn't this turn out pretty? I love it. So warm and cozy. It's a rainy day here, so this does look nice and warm and cozy. Okay, and a little more of the fall theme here. We're going to do some nice napkin rings. So as I pointed out, those pumpkins have some neat leaves. So we're just going to paint these so that they fit our decor a little bit more. This is just a moss green in Waverly. Um, and I used some of the shower rings from Actually, mine were left over. You can get them from the Dollar Tree. So mine are just a little bit thicker, and I use burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just doubling this in half and wrapping it around. I do apologize for this angle again. Um, it was part of me zooming in on another one and not realizing the camera was still on zoom. So I apologize. So I'm just going to wrap this around and wrap it around. You just want to cover the whole ring and then we'll be attaching. On this video, you'll also see that, you know, I do some shading on these pumpkins as well, just to give them a little bit of depth and character and dimension. So the rest is pretty self-explanatory. I'll let you watch.
You know, I wasn't really ready for fall until I saw these. I think this is a nice accent. Would work well with different colored napkins. We'll also be doing some other things with these napkins coming soon. Now, the next project that I'm going to be doing is going to be for a tear tray. So this next week we'll be making a tear tray. So this is something that's going to go on there. I wanted to have a couple items to put on there so that you could see how to, you know, a couple options on how to display them. So I used a little bit of that extra mineral that I had from the pumpkins to just paint these jumbo. These are actually just the second size popsicle sticks. And I'm just using a little bit of tape to temporarily hold them together. And I'm also going to use the stir sticks to frame this. The rest is pretty step by step and I'll let you follow along.
And here's all the items we made this week. I hope you enjoyed them as much as I do. Please share this with a friend and help me make this channel grow. Thank you.